Hi, very good morning. This is Dr. G.P. Sudhakar, Professor of Management from Hyderabad, India. Right, uh, say I thought uh, I will take a small brief session on themes. Right, because you know more than 80% of the Fortune 500 organizations are using teams to achieve their organizational purpose or goals. Right, so in this uh, brief session, we will discuss about uh, first we will define what is a team. Right, next what are the team characteristics? We will distinguish between team and group. Right, we will see different de team development stages. Right, what are the example teams? And also, you know, different types of teams, right? And followed by what are the different qualitative dimensions of team, quantitative dimensions of teams, right? And what are the factors impacting team performance, right? So these topics we will discuss in this uh, brief session, right? So this is based on my you know research, you know, after going through so many journal journal papers and all, I could gain this, uh, right? So. First, we will uh, define what is a team. What is a team? A team is a collection of individuals working towards a common purpose or common goal. Common purpose or common goal. Right. Uh, basically, what are the different characteristics of teams? Teams consists of human beings. Right. A team has got certain objective. Team objective is there. Team is led by a team leader, right? You know, they, they take some input like time, money, resources, hardware, software, they take as input and they deliver products and services as output, right? They take some input and they deliver as output, right? And also, they require top management support, management support they require, you know, team should have a vision, right? So, that is about team, right? What are the example teams, for example? Software development teams, construction teams, surgical teams, you know, uh, then manufacturing teams or you know manufacturing groups we call they call usually right. Next uh, top management teams, next sports teams, sports team, cricket team, uh, you know, uh, then uh, football team, basketball team, hockey team. You know how supporting role is very important in uh, hockey hitting a goal you know unless a supporting person uh, won't handle you uh, give you the ball you won't be able to hit the goal how important it is supporting role in a, a hockey team or a football team right so that is the reason every role inside a team is important every role inside a team is important right so that is about uh, team characteristics and some of the examples of teams surgical teams you know they are also you know healthcare teams so like uh, these are all the examples of uh, teams right now let's move on and see what is a group a group is collection of individuals may not be having a specific purpose or goal a group doesn't have specific purpose or goal they joined together because of some common interests or hobbies common interests are hobbies right see basically uh, see team leadership team leadership is assigned leadership organization essence you that stating that you are a team leader whereas group leadership is gained leadership group leader using his powers he gained the leadership inside a group right so and also in teams so for example there are n number of members in a team there will be n into n minus 1 by 2 number of communication channels inside a team environment whereas in group entire communication has to go through the leader that means he will be in the center entire communication has to go through the leader that means you know it, it follows a star topology group follows a star topology with respect to communication with respect to communication Right. So, this is the you know distinction between uh, team and uh, group. Right. So next we will see what are the different uh, types of teams. Different types of teams. Work teams or work groups they call. Next project teams, parallel teams. Huh? Next uh, comes management teams. Next comes ad hoc teams, committees. Like this, there are different types of teams. Usually, work groups, 
you observe in where manufacturing industry project teams you are observe in software industry or construction industry whereas uh, you know parallel teams you observe in research across the world you know parallelly research goes on right you know different teams work on the same concepts in different parts of the world that that is that is the reason research teams are usually they are parallel teams right next one is what management teams you know top management top management also works as uh, you know team right for example ceo cto cio coo cfo all these work together as a team and working toward the organizational strategy organizational strategy and uh, you know their plans you know they want to devise the plans right top management uh, sit together that's called a management team right next ad hoc team ad hoc team is formed because of specific cause or specific purpose once that is solved the team dissolves the team dissolves next one is committees committees you basically you observe in governance public governance or you know or uh, policy making you observe in uh, committees right so because of some reason committee has been formed and uh, members have been allotted that is about uh, committees right so like this different types of teams are possible teams are possible right see now let us see there are uh, so far we have seen definition of team distinguishing between team and group then we have seen what are the different types of teams right now let us move on and see what what are the different team development stages you know as we also in usual as in tutorial we develop right we learn we undergo training then we move on and you know some achieve some level of performance right similarly team also undergoes different stages team also undergoes different stages right there are two schools of thoughts one is based on a journal journal paper written by bruce tuckman he has given different team development stages similarly kajan bhai and smith in their book the wisdom of teams wisdom of teams in their book they have given team development stages team development stages right so now we will see first what are the team development stages given by bruce tuckman right according to him team development stages are forming storming norming performing and then adjourning right means in forming stage introductions of the team members happen in storming stage you know team members you know they there will be some conflict you know trouble for power you know somebody wants to gain the informal power and all in the team right they question the authority of the team leader like that happens in storming stage next what norming stage in norming stage they form the ground rules for themselves you know there will be some common language in the project team right so they they form some ground rules and some discipline will be there in the norming stage next one it moves on to performing stage in performing stage team members all team members work towards the organizational goal right and team meets the deadlines team meets the deadlines next team achieves its objectives what happens the team will be adjourned that means team members are sent to their functional departments or no team gets dissolved so that is the school of thought uh, according to bruce tuckman right for different stages of teams okay now move on uh, come to the kajin bath and smith according to what is their theory they told the team undergoes another five stages see similar stages but uh, no wording is different what is that first one is work group next one is pseudo team next one is potential team another one is real team next one is uh, you know high performance team right you know the performance will be like this you know comes down and then moves up right work team means what organization has sent a task to the group but not everybody is working towards the organization given task so that is called work group next one is what pseudo team pseudo team means what pseudo team means uh, you know for outsiders it appears like a team but really you know internally that is not a team right so after moving on some more time it enters into a potential team potential means you know people uh, you know they able to understand each other and then you know some people are working toward the organization assigned task right then that is called potential team right after some more time what happens it becomes a real team means everybody is working toward the organizational goal they are meeting the project deadlines you know cost uh, cost lines and timelines they are meeting right that is called real team means we are achieving our objective 
नेक्स्ट वाट हई पर्फॉम टीम हई पर्फॉम टीम मीन देर इज म्यूचुअल रेस्पेक्ट इन द टीम एवरीबडी इज कंसर्ड अबाउट अदर पर्सन नो दे नो अबाउट ईच अदर वेल राइट सो देर इज ए गिव एंड टेक इन द टीम राइट दैट इज कॉल्ड हई पर्फॉम टीम दट इज कॉल्ड हई पर्फॉम टीम राइट सो लाइक दिस टीम अंडर गोज डिफरेंट स्टेजेस डिफरेंट स्टेजेस दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू कर्जन बैथ एंड स्मिथ राइट सो let us move on and see one more topic one more topic what is that uh, for example team takes certain input some process takes place some output will come out right what are the team inputs for example it takes raw material time money human resources machinery hardware software some processes what are the processes team communication team cooperation team coordination uh, team uh, Uh, you know another uh, for example decision making like this all the process takes place next comes what team output output means what they develop production services for uh, for example that is the final outcome other than the team performance team productivity uh, team innovation these are all the output of the team the right? team effectiveness team efficiency these are the output of team Like this, it takes some input, it processes some processes takes place, then output will come out, right? That is about team, right? See, and also one beauty is, for example, if we take Bruce Tuckman's stages, forming stage, storming stage, naming. See, it like this. Each stage inside each stage there will be certain process takes place. As team moves on another stage, another the more processes like this. with respect to teams the dimensions the attributes are processes team characteristics for example team competencies team roles huh? team size team skills huh? and then uh, you know the, uh, uh, team climate like this i could identify around 70 factors 70 items related to team they can be a team dimension it can be a team attribute or it can be a team process Or it can be an output of the team, right? So these processes, what we identify, it can be categorized into qualitative aspects and then quantitative aspects. Example, quantitative aspects are what team performance means. What is the you no know, return on investment? What is the financial return on investment uh, from the team? Right, that can be a team performance measure. Next, productivity. What are the number of outputs generated? For the given number of input units, that is team productivity. Now the next what team innovation? How many number of patents have come out? What is the intellectual property generated? How many trademarks have come out of the team? Right, team innovation. How do we measure? Or what is the uh, my financial return in the last five years? Last five years it has come means that is because of what the innovation, recent innovation came into the organization. Right, so that innovation we can measure using the last financial. Uh, five years uh, financial returns in uh, what is the increment because of new production services right that is how we measure the innovation team innovation right next you know team efficiency team effectiveness effectiveness means what you know uh, we invested some money what is the return on it for example we spend on some training what is the training effectiveness training effectiveness means before the training this is the team performance after the training this is the team performance right like this these are all the quantitative measures of teams quantitative measures of teams and qualitative measures you know team communication team conflicts you know team uh, climate like this for example climate take team climate team climate is very important very important because unless you have a proper climate in the team you can't achieve the performance i will tell you the model in more or basically team climate is the right team climate positive climate results into team innovation team innovation results into team productivity team productivity results into the team performance right this is all these are all correlated variables correlated variable that means to achieve team performance you have to have the right team climate right team climate then only innovation comes then only productivity comes if productivity and innovation comes you get the performance you get the performance right this is the uh, approach right so that is about uh, team climate you see basically there are some researchers in uk uh, anderson and west they have developed something called tci t 
TCI means team climate inventory. It is an index to measure team climate inside the an organization. It consists of four factors. For example, team climate, what are the what are its components? Vision, team vision, right, task orientation, support for innovation, and then participative safety. You know how participative safety team members have in the team. That is important to achieve innovation. Now, once the team member feels participation is very safe in the team, he then only he gives a new ideas and you know, new ideas flow into the team. That means participative safety is part of the team climate, right? So these are the factors coming in team climate, right? And then let us move on. And uh, what is the other factor? Team performance, right? So several factors impact the team performance. Several factors impact the team performance. Right, what are those factors? For example, I have written a paper that is called uh, soft factors affecting the uh, product performance of software development teams. Soft factors affecting the performance of software development teams in a MRL journal called team performance management. In that I gave a model, you know, for example, four types of factors will be, four categories of factors will be impacting the software development team. Example, technical factors, means hardware, software, project complexity, you know technology complexity these kind of factors will be impacting the software development team performance that is technical factors next comes non-technical or soft factors example team climate is one factor soft factor or no team communication they impact the team performance next comes organizational factors you know organizational structure organizational climate organizational culture you know culture is a bit static Climate is a bit dynamic, you know, culture is, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, culture it takes long term, climate is, you know, the moment it, uh, today climate and tomorrow it may be different, right, climate vary, it, it is dynamic, right, our national culture, our national climate, our national structure, they impact the team performance. Similarly, external factors, external or environmental factors, what are they? Political, pastel analysis, do pastel analysis, all these will impact the team performance, you know, political, socio-economic, technological environment, and then, you know, uh, societal, cultural environment, they impact the team performance. Like this, different factors impact the team performance, right? Not only these factors, for example, take uh, um, top management teams, top management teams. See, top management teams, we discussed, right, CEO, COO, CTO, CEO, they all work together towards as a team for devising our nation strategies and, uh, you know, plans, right. So, how their team is in performance is impacted, top management team performance is impacted by several factors. You know, for example, CEO tenure inside the organization, how is the financial markets? You know, equity market, how is its stock performance of the company in the market, external environment, you know, what is the investor's sentiment outside, organizational factors, you know, top management competencies, diversity inside the top management. So, all these factors impact the top management team performance, right? So, I will give you one model basically. How do you achieve, how do you end up with the team performance starting from team diversity? Team diversity. See, basically you start with diversity inside a team. Means once, once you recruit a team, team will be diversified. Means a different uh, demographic diversity. Diversity can be demographic diversity, skill diversity, education diversity, uh, gender diversity. Like this, different diversities are there. All these diversities impact the you know, communication. They enable communication. In fact, diversity enables communication. Because of communication, what comes? Cohesion will come inside the team. Means what? Cohesion means cohesion is of two types. Task cohesion, social cohesion. Task cohesion means they came together, two, three people came together because of project task assigned or organizational task assigned. That is called task cohesion. Whereas social cohesion, you know, they meet at coffee, show, coffee cafeteria or, you know, somewhere uh, uh, inside the organization or outside, somewhere that is called social cohesion. It is called social cohesion. 
right so this task cohesion social cohesion part of cohesion team cohesion this cohesion you becomes input to conflicts team conflicts conflicts are of three types task conflict relationship conflict and then process conflict so after conflicts the team gets the performance team performance this conflicts three types of conflicts okay they help in team performance how some may hamper say i will tell you each one of them first task conflict positively impacts the team performance task conflict is good to achieve team performance whereas relationship conflict it hampers the team performance right it is not good for the team performance next one is what process conflict process conflict at the beginning of the team means in the initial stages of team formation process conflict is good for the team performance like this where do we start we started with team diversity next we moved on to team cohesion next to team communication then to team cohesion next came to team conflicts then came end up with team performance like this it is a model you know, you know all the processes uh, different process takes place inside the team environment right so this is about uh, teams so far what did we discuss we started with what is a team right we defined what is a team then we distinguish between team and a group uh, next we have learned what are the team characteristics next we have seen team development stages different examples of teams we have seen and next different types of teams we have seen uh, like work group and uh, you know project teams like that and uh, next we have seen team inputs outputs team processes we have seen factors impact in team performance we have seen and also factors impact in top management team also we have seen right so all these inputs are based on my research right so this is very much important topic you know teams uh, then only we achieve the organizational performance of course i am not a great team player but however these are based on my research inputs right so thank you all the best